Äntligen! Jag är så glad att få visa detta avsnitt från min resa som jag gjorde tillsammans med Sprofskoptik. Vi började resan i Italien. La Casalacca som ligger nästan exakt i mitten av Parma och Florens. Italien för mig är ju en favoritplats. Inte bara för att jag fick vara med hästar, rida, spana på vilt. Men också att jag fick träffa andra jägare runt om i Europa. Jag har fått utbilda mig inom optik. Jag har fått se deras nya kikare, ATC, STC. Jag har fått nya vänner och jag har fått äta god italiensk mat. Vilket jag älskar. Efter vår hunting summit i Italien bilade jag tillsammans med Sandra som är produktutvecklare på Svalosk Optik. Genom de fantastiska Alperna in till Österrike. Jag kan nog lova och säga att det är en av Europas vackraste väg. Har ni inte gjort det så rekommenderar jag det varmt. Alperna är ju en bergkedja i central Europa som är ett särskilt populärt resmål under vintern. Men även under sommaren är Alperna extremt vackert och populärt. Men nu, mina vänner, är nästa destination Österrike. Och vi ska börja med en vistelse hos Svarovska Optik. Men sedan vi ger oss ut på jakt efter Gems. Välkomna till ett nytt avsnitt av Side by Side. Hi girls! Hey, Great to see you Hi. again! Nice Great to see, see you! you. Hey Madeleine, so good to have you here. Thank you, I'm very glad to be here. So, yeah. is everything good from the trip from Italy? Are you yeah, tired? All good, all good. A little bit. Now I'm at your place. Yeah, to finally this is have you for here. You. Super good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so where are we gonna start? We will start here um, in front, just in front. Mm -hmm. And have a look in the kindergarten and then we will just go into the production site. And you will learn a lot how we produce our high quality binoculars. Oh, that sounds really good. I have been drinking three coffees already. So I have a lot of energy and I can keep up with you guys. Okay, okay. that sounds good. So let's go. <laughs> let's <Yeah>. go. <laughs> Katrin som är PR för Swarovska Optik och Kristina som är Customer Management är två extremt välutbildade tjejer. Och jag är extremt tacksam över att de visar runt mig här idag på fabriken i Österrike. Det är mycket att ta in men jag tänker att vi börjar med lite historia. Wilhelm Swarovski, son till den ursprungliga grundaren Daniel Swarovski, föddes 1918. År 1949 grundade han Swarovska Optik. Då tillverkade han den första kikaren Habish 7x42 som än idag tillverkas och som finns i sortimentet. Det tycker jag är riktigt häftigt. Inside the fabric now. This is our first stop of the company tour and we are here in the department where we have our apprenticeships. Christina will tell us afterwards a little bit more details. First, um, um, maybe some facts. Uh, we are here now in up some more than 800 employees. Oh wow! And worldwide, a little bit more than 1,000. So since our founding, we, the company grows and grows. And the overall area we have here in Absam is 40,000 square meters and 10,000 of them is really production area. In some parts you will see them afterwards. Yeah, as Catherine just mentioned, that we are here in our apprenticeship workshops. Um, of course, qualified workers is the most important thing we have. So it's important um, to invest a lot of time and money in good education of the people. Here we are with the precision opticians. We gotta be with the precision mechanics afterwards. So two two different things you can learn here, two different jobs actually. Um, education lasts 3.5 years. After that, you are a qualified worker, and then you can stay here and have a job here. That's actually the goal. Yeah, we, oh, we so wanna. I'm gonna come back in the three and a half year. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then you, you told us more yesterday more. you want to live here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna move from Sweden, I'm gonna live here. I mean, yeah, this yeah. country is amazing. So we will be colleagues. Okay, <laughs> sorry. No worries, no worries. Mm -hmm. So they basically start when they are 14, 15. Mm -hmm. um, 3.5 years later, they, they're qualified workers. Yeah, especially for the precision optician um, sector, we are actually the only company in Austria really um, offering this education on a steady basis. Wow. Um, there is in total, Always between uh, 35 and 40 people in education, like both divisions together. Yeah, is there any questions from your side regarding 
No, I'm just thinking about my education that I'm gonna go back to. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I will have a, a very quick lesson now during the day together with you girls. Yeah. So it's a good start. <laughs> it's a good start. Okay. okay. So maybe let's talk a little bit about the optics. So in this case, 8.5 times magnification and 42 millimeters opening of the objective lens. Okay, so talking about transmission, um, you can see here it's 12 surfaces. Here it's coated and here it's not coated. So here you've got more like a mirror, so not usable for binoculars. And here you got the perfect system. Okay, so talking about um, transmission and um, coatings, um, I'm gonna show you a, a really cool example of like what really the difference is. And we've got 12 surfaces of glass here. It's not coated in this case, so it's more like a mirror, as you can say. And in this case, it's coated, it's very top coating. So metal oxides, basically we steam onto the lenses. And this is what we wanna have for our binoculars, of course. Okay, here we are um, quality check room for the lenses. So everyone producing lenses in here has to make sure to only deliver good parts to assembly. And so that's basically happening here. Uses the interferometer um, to check the lens. It's basically two focal points he's putting over each other. It's a perfect reference surface and it's measured by a laser beam. Okay, so what we see here is the rooftop prism. This is so important because this is where the turning of the picture is happening inside the binocular. That's why it's so critical regarding uh, production tolerance. We need a perfect 90 degrees angle basically. And the only way to really get a perfect 90 degrees angle is to make use of adhesion. So basically it's just molecular interaction. Um, no glue between. You can see that here you got two perfect surfaces and under the right condition and that's super sensitive they just put it on like that and it stays there and it's strong enough to work on the prisms like that we will see that in a minute in the next production hall The weight difference of magnesium and aluminium and then there is also steel. And this is the one you use when you work out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get the steel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to start this morning or what to explain, but we have been going from Innsbruck through the mountains and now we are on top of the mountains almost. So from here we're gonna we're gonna start to walk. I have been seeing the most beautiful morning in my life, I think, because all the mountains here, it's, it's everything is so new for me. So I'm very glad that I'm here right now and we are gonna hunt gems. So I'm really glad. So we're gonna prepare ourselves to start walk and hopefully we will see something. I'm 
gonna start to cry because this was This guy just leave us all. Him. Leave us all. Okay. Good. Well, the only thing I can say in, in Deutsch is nicht. Mir ist es schon besser man einen halben Tag umbringen, ja? Okay? Okay. <lacht> Weil es wird nicht wenig hat. Wir können ruhig auf achtfach. You have it? You have it? Ja. Gut. <lacht> okay, I'm almost gonna fall down on this. My goodness, my first. Chamois is laying in front of me and it didn't go far because I shot it on 150 meters but still it didn't go very far away but it was here in the in the bush and I now my guide is getting it for me I never seen one was it long? Was it long? Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf Jahre. So now I have a beautiful chamois in front of me, my first one. It's been a great experience and I never seen one of these before. It's an old one. He was very specific that it was that it was an old one and he it's a female, so it's um was saying like, okay, we need to check so it doesn't have a baby or anything. This is the right one that I shot, so I'm really glad. Maybe you can see it on my face. <laughs> okay. Cut. Cut. Bleib mal heil. Bleib mal heil. Thank you so much. Will I take that one? Ja. Thank you. Schön. Wenn er sich Optik mitgedacht hat, <laughs> haben sie bei sich <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Du, hat die Optik mitgedacht, sonst hat man mir so einen Rüffel gegeben. <laughs> so, jetzt werden wir die da, entweder da auf die Stahl da legen, uh -huh. dass man kann Foto mit Panorama, oder? Ja. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Now we're gonna take a photo with my animal. I understood so far. And look. Zu viel, das ist jetzt <lacht> nicht. So whenever I'm, I'm filming for my YouTube channel, as you might be watching right now when you're looking at this. This is a great memory that I'm sharing with you guys. And I'm so happy to be here in Austria, in these Alps, hiking, hunting, and I can share that with you. So I'm really glad that you are looking at this video that I'm making, and I will continue to uh, make hunting videos around the world. But right now I just want to share my, my happiness, because it went really well with this hunt, and I'm so glad for it. So now we're gonna go back again. Um, we're gonna go the same way back that we came from. Hola, <laughs> Oh, 
This is the cow paradise, I would say. If I were a cow, I would definitely be living here, having the best time of my life. I mean, look at them. Chilling, eating. Oh, hello. Thanks for the cap, he's really happy about it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. thank you. There's nothing. Oh, vielleicht kämen Sie wieder mal. Yeah, hope, yeah. hope to see you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut on your cheese. Cut on your cheese. cheese. <laughs> and the mouse in your mail, and your salt, and up in the sauna. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, Ciao, Pia Dai. Ciao. Ciao. I'm so grateful for the hunt that I was doing yesterday. Together with Swarovski Optic and with Sandra who is behind the camera, who has been very helpful. So thank you Sandra for helping me with this episode. Without you, it wouldn't be easy. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to follow my future adventure. i see you in the next one.